ever heard in have gotten much aggression of late, just as he said. But our scouts spotted on sniffling about the stories, likely looking likely looking to make an arm for crystal. I'll be damned if I'll let that happen. And they help. Seems seem notably more agitated than we last last we arrived. Do you happen to know what, what that might be? Okay. It would appear that a core bot or giant information. Yes, but to be so reckless as an infantry man who can and draw attention to the effort is passing strange. Well, there must there will be time to think on this later. But with the, with the present, we must have the power to it. Gotcha. But if I tell no one, then no one. Hey. You found me again. What? In peace, only to talk. Speak. Talk. Please, please do not hurt me. This is our walk. No wonder these soldiers were on edge. You could very well give one a bruised knee. Uh. I thought we got a fireworks on. So, uh, I thought you were stealing my thing, but you're planning to steal my crystal, were you? I came to talk, asked for help, but when their soldiers saw me, they drew their weapons and shot at it. Anna, let us take a deep breath and discuss like several individual. What is your name, child? Pikeman, Gabu. I'm the 620th order. At least I will be a pikeman one day. Oh my Gabu. I'm Alpha and this is my sister, Alice. The man who found me is our friend. And now that you are named, now come in. Yeah, thinks that you wanted to take a crystal, Gabu. But you said you came after help. Why to us and not your own people? What happened? I am her. Uh, Alright. Yeah, I promise. That knee looks weirder. Yep, he says. The Patriarch is going to summon the Great Father again, and you have to stop and beat him, right? Abu parents said they didn't want it, along with many others, but the Patriarch wouldn't listen. He was so angry, raging, fuming, angry. He said that this is no, this is to have the iron to the heart. It was serve as hope for the furnace, and then the guards took my parents and all the others away. I have not seen them ever since. Oak for the furnace. I did not want to believe it. I've heard tales of a fashioned from the bones of the beastmen, which were to be used for the ritual, hoping to summon a more powerful incarnation of their god. I as well. That is sickening. No one listens to Gabu. No matter how much he cries, please, Bex cries. They do not listen. Only talk about punishing the overdose and praising the Great Father. Gabu loves the Great Father, but he loves his parents too. So help. Gabu stopped the Patriot and stopped to save his parents. I find, uh, the Titan summoning is imminent. If the worst com come to the worst, we will require the support. Time being his essence, we, sh we three sh will attempt to infiltrate Kabu, hold the Kronos, secure the curse, and free the prisoners. 
Well, if you're sure, you'll forgive me if I'm optimistic. We'll make ready in just in case. I talked to other, but they won't listen, so I was afraid to come here. Did you know that the, the, the are classes who will pay fortune for beef artifacts? It is pr 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 I have the way to set the ritual. It will surely be a tent associate. I cannot speak of the president's mercy. They will have a contempt sacrifice of own, brothers and time is the essence and we must see it. Ned loves crystals, Cherus Cover loves them, and if we got our nephew return, that's why the Patriot told everyone to go forth and gather them. Law was. If we are here taken away, maybe the graph will come. Very good, Gabu. I was thinking the same thing. Do you need where the crystal is stored? I know, I know. Several spots, each defended by the ore. Gabu wanted to steal them, but he was too afraid to do it alone. Yes, I was too afraid to go alone. But together, we, we can take away and hide them. Come on. I think fair then again they only they have themselves to blame. Weapon the sheet. Look. Where is it? John. I don't know what weapon she uses. It looks like a gun, but it's not. A Is it quickly? Let's make it. Yeah, them. I don't know what weapon she uses. Oh, she also uses a book. Where's Alpha? Let me bet I was. It was. Oh. Need for it. We we we. Oh, she also uses a book. Is it not like a book? Oh my god, it did not look like a book. I'm sure. You have the crystal, you have to move on to the next cache. You hear me, brother? It's just that. I'm certain that the crates once bore Ishgar and Seal. Someone looks great. Look, look, took great pain to remove all traces, but enough remains. All to make the palace see for yourself. I struggle to imagine Kobo traveling to Curtis to obtain crystal, much less bothering to conceal their origins. Since these crystals were smuggled into Elba by another party, most likely a pawn of the Ascent at Stank respectively. I don't understand, who are the Ascent and do they worship Great Father Titan too? Ah, uh, never, uh, never mind that. Uh, I've asked. Said, we do not have time, a lot of time. Can you lead us to the next cash, Gabu? Yes, of course. Gabu knows the way. He is he he He's the commander. Next one is the last one. Very large, very big. We'll be here but unless They were here, heaps heaps of crystals. We should pack up the crystal and leave now. The cobots can stumble upon our handiwork at any moment.
Oh, you. I don't see it, my friend. Nothing, but this cannot be. That boo saw them spot. Think about that thing. They must have moved them. The question is where to and why. But then, old Gurma, but when they summoned the title once before, that means. But again. Other and others. We must help them. And we will, Gabu. We will stay calm and we'll have. They will ha yet to have to call their minion crates, yes. If they had, then they would be have found the other cache. Nevertheless, I believe it's time for the stealth test pass. We need to breach the naval, a sea scope, and there's no way to prevent the time. But first, give me the crystal and I might deliver them to the command house. We do not take them. I'll find a couple of them. Hmm. I shall have a brief. After a call, there are Afra in the other mind. They should be enabled. I'll show it during them. Strange, I wouldn't thought you were eager to remain sick of the action, but if that's what you prefer. We must go to her. There's no time. Okay. For no delays. Lay on your arm and surrender. I have your crystal. There is no need to summon this day. How did you? Where are my parents, Pedro? Where are they? Could you? I we restore, but the Lord of Christ, we are His, and we may drink our blood up, and we might draw upon the strength of the children to defend them, the tyranny of the overlords. Yeah. And patron, I do your fear and your hate. You would do anything to protect your people, anything to deliver them from despair, whatever it takes to ensure that. But in your single minded pursuit of you have brought suffering to your own kith and kin. You have sacrificed the lives of the very people you sought to protect. If you need. If you not. If it. But it, now. Announce your blinkers and cease your attempt to summon, and you'll work with us. Together to. You used to be abandoned by over the inconvenience, oath breakers all of you. I am oath breaker. You take, you take, you take, you take, and when you had your fill, you do your peace. You promise that this time, this time is the last, until you grow hungry again. But when we dare to defend ourselves, you declare that this beast tribe cannot be suffered to live, that our god drains the land of Ethan and brings not but suffering, death, destruction, suffering up as a book. I will not hear no more lies for you when you are the you have ruined your own land and you're not ruining ours. I said I come to you, I did it. Please.
Oh, not again. Wake up, wake up. Okay. Stop. Stop. I'm here, I'm here. Let's leave it to me. We must be away. Dear Andre, I can't seem to wake him. But, well, how can I be so foolish? I should have known better than to let Gobble accompany us, given that we were behind. His anguish despair has served to birth the Parma, he surely would as would have been this worse. Being born from the true emotion in the incarnation of time seems impeccable of naught but violence. It would have one cause of optimism. It is with many works presented. The ritual by a fraction of the coin intended for the summoning ritual. Meaning the Titan must be far weaker than we planned. Yes, he's their problem, and no longer we leave him to bleed the letter either. And should the Titan be permitted to leave Algema, minus more lives we lost. And it's, you know which I die. We face. Are uh, well you in the problem? Look for us and come back. We were expecting you. I hear soloists. Probably a warrior, but I probably.
just a spam like why did you spam it twice like I was just taking time. Can't hurt me on this form, so Zor and Buck would be clever.
will take a long time to fight because he's doing that. I would normally assume it, but it, I hit that damage fall thing, which like, makes it hard for me to damage him more often. Uh, I can't as and also I can't as soon as, so I was like, I kind of wish that I can soon as. Yeah. He's almost there.
done with that. Just one more turn and I should take him out of Dead. Yeah, that <laughs> solo that fight. There was nothing of his tragedy to say. He has not since regained consciousness. We believe he can hear us, but he has made no attempt to respond. He is almost certainly in shock, but we cannot discount the possibility that he succumbed to the primal's influence. Should that prove to be the case, he must be put to death, like any other thrall. Such is an alliance policy. Yes. You have the right of it. But we must not rush to conclusion after all. We only feared that ESL followers were beyond reasoning, and many have since laid down their arms and accepted Ishgard's peace. We can watch, but wait and pray. I was there, the thought we ha might have to child. There is not that to be gained of dwelling in the past over which there is no control, much less one that will never came to pass. Let us tend let us have the man has inform me Commander Baldwin of Titan's demise, for example. You may be certain that he has glad news, would you be so kind to bring it to him? I have thought worse, as you might on the hand. Ah, settled, is it? I'm glad to hear it. Not a half assed man will be able to meet, regardless of whether he was summoned primarily. There, are, there is no, ain't no soul in the mills that hasn't been. Don't get me wrong, like, we were all prepared to do our part, but we were so naive as to think we. Thankfully, of course, I didn't come to that, which is my friend sounds like a celebration. Now that I've lost peace, that's why we stayed at night. We were honored to have a glass. Who goes there? Me. Sorry. Oh, it's you. Forgive me for straying from the camp. He hasn't been feeling too welcome, to say the least. I thought a change of scenery might do him good. so quiet 
out here. The stars spread out before us, beckoning across time and space. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. How bitterly beautiful, those words. I should be stronger for all my experiences, yet my heart aches more than ever. I never understood why Grandfather gave his life that day. I thought that if I came here, I would find the answers I needed. But when I finally laid eyes on the land he sacrificed everything to save, saw firsthand the bickering, the pettiness, I was disappointed. I was angry. I could not fathom how these people were more deserving of his love than his family, than me. Nevertheless, I had to believe he had good reason. I was determined to uncover the whole truth of the calamity and perhaps in so doing find my own purpose in this sea of chaos. My travels have been enlightening, but I cannot say that I have enjoyed them. I have lost count of the many petty crises that I was helpless to resolve and of the people whose actions I could not understand. There were others, of course. Good people. People with whom I felt a kinship, whose lives I could not save. I found myself asking what it was all for. Why try if I was doomed to fail in the end? But then I recalled Grandfather's words to my father, years ago, before he left Charlayan behind forever. To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. We must all protect that which we hold most dear in the manner of our own choosing. We have to try, do we not? Of course it's one thing to try and another to do. There were times while I was tracking the warriors of darkness when I faltered, when I was afraid. But then I thought of my brother, of Uri Angers. Oh, pray forgive me. This conversation has been rather one-sided, hasn't it? Mayhap you could recount some of your adventures in Ishgard. Gods! They must have been at each other's throats from dawn till dusk. Yeah. I dare say you managed to keep the peace, though. Merely being in the presence of the Warrior of Light is surely enough to shame anyone into behaving. Yeah. I had my trusty water bottle by my side. The hopes and dreams of so many rest on your shoulders, Warrior of Light. As long as the sun rises, we can but carry on. For the sake of those we hold dear. I just thought, I wish I'd see stars like these. To what end dost thou cling to the tainted gifts of the mother? Bro, oh, you don't even try to hide it, man. Every tool has its purpose. Even this. Well, what is it? The seeds sown in Vilbrand have been plucked from the earth and left to wither. Alas, 
Titan's demise sufficed not to drive the kobolds to deepest desperation. What did the man in white have to say? That we are to proceed as he did first set forth. Well, that's easy for him to say! It's not his bloody world on the brink of destruction, is it? Be thou well reminded that with an end to Ishgard's unrest, naught now remaineth to preoccupy the Scion's thoughts. And thus may they devote their every energy to thwarting thee and thine. I foresee only greater difficulties ahead. Foresee? <laughs> Are you sure you don't welcome them? I'm starting to think you might hold a candle for your old friends after all. Pray do not mistake mine intent. I but look upon the path which lieth before us with due trepidation. Shouldst thou be of like mind, pray consider then another course. For the power to invoke the ardor belongeth not unto the Asians alone. With thine own hand strike down thine enemy, the so-called hero who would see thy home lost to light. Do but this, and thou wouldst at a single stroke disrupt the all-too-delicate balance of this realm, plunging her straightways into chaos. You do realize what you're suggesting, yes? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, it is indolence. The words of my teacher and a creed I hold close to my heart. Oh, they both said the same thing. Very well. Draw him out. We'll make it quick. It shall be done. What good a creed one cannot uphold. What hurts soothed. What lives saved. Oh, hapless fool, what hast thou wrought by thine own hands? Minfilia, my friends, I shall not now beg your forgiveness. Full deeply, though it paineth me to walk it, I shall not stray from my chosen path. As Moonbreeder remains steadfast, so too shall I. Nice burst. I was by this moment speaking to thank you, Stella. The Link Pearl. And they have some. Apparently, there's a course of regiment investigation both the crates on Ishkar. Twas that someone in the capital has very busy. The night has launched a full investigation. I believe that there is only a matter of time before the culprit is found, but shall have wait to see. In the meantime, it is only prudent that looked into the recent activities of the other tribes. It has come to flush Ishkar, Ishkar crystals. With that in mind, I suggest we. Well, I just dialed somewhere again, but we'll find it. Let me guess. It's time to leave business. Why is it strange again? Is it any coincidence? I have already packed my things. How is he? Brother Commander Bolan, something tells me that you are not solely here out of concern for his webfare. But to answer your question, there has been no change. He will not speak or eat. I'm not even sure if he slept. If he did, he seems none the better for it. He just shuffles around with that same expression on his face. 
You will look after him, would you, Commander? Treat him with every kindness. He's still in there, I know it. Beneath the anguish and despair, he's still fighting with all his heart. He deserves to be given a chance until he comes back to us, until we know for certain what, what has become of him. We need to worry. If he hadn't risked his neck to warn us and help you secure the progress, this could have turned into a damn sight of worse than he did. We will not soon forget that, nor will Maelstrom Command. Alright, Gabu, truly am. You'll never have ma been made to, and I know I cannot possibly understand. Perhaps there is nothing I can do to say. The pain, the anger, the helplessness. Hold fast to memories, it's a better time. Remember them as they were. And when it hurts so much, your heart feels it burst, let it burst. Fill it up again with love for them and never ever forget it. Come along, little one. I'll remember them. Thank you, I'll say thank you. Your words have reached him. In time, he will recover. And those who orchestrate these events will be made to answer for their crimes. A thousand times over, there will be, be a reckoning. Who <laughs> wants them dead? <laughs> so bad. You have heard good things from Oregon, my friends. By the grace of the twelve and the most valiant effort, the pride of the moon may have rest easy. I should not like to think of it. Though we failed to prevent the Lord of Crack from manifesting, we did succeed to weaken him, enabling our friends to dispatch him where the war of darkness could make matters worse. It was by no means an unmitigated success, but it will have to suffice. And let us speak of another matter on your way on my, on my lady's mind. And thou this request, I s sought out the Granules Oracles, that we might better understand the aims of the War of the Rock. Though there are copies of Elegant defies any singular interruptions, the Oracles paint a most disturbing picture, one of the most parallel of our own, apart from being reduced to ruin with every humble calamity. Seven times they, they have succeeded, and then of ten or three, only six worlds remain. I. And my lady will completely. A reflection when they are the source of rejoined. Ray of flesh upon the umbral fires, each is so recalled to flow in upon the sea, there is none to do and none. Then, if the war of darkness succeeded, everyone in the world will die. In essence, I, the verse speaketh of the renunciation of the flesh, and subsequent return to the live stream. However, the fate may be yet preferable to the alternative. For this, if the first were to fall to transcend the light in the matter, the word darkness described, it would give on to the void where none of may know either life or death. Far better to die, they reason, for in death there is no there is life. The essence of soul which returns to the source may be born anew. Save such at least is their belief, I surmise. Then God, no one should ever have to make such a choice. Here, as we speak further on the subject, I would share th with the another recent discovery. Was of the, the seven crests have been delivered in the hands to a certain Alamegan parties. If you believe that the work of the same Asian smugglers who believe in the beast tribe, I I know beyond a shadow of a doubt there is a motive. I would remind you and ask you that. Attempt to bring the summoners to an eventual we took receipt of the shipment and refuge belonging to a group of It's almost certain that they know that these Ishgarden suppliers appear to be none other than the remnants of Elan Full, a network of spies. Surely you jest, and yet there's no surprise they bear the leadership and is hunted by the Alliance. I can well imagine such a villain being desperate enough to conspire with the Asin, assuming they even know or care who their employees are. 
all of which is irrelevant. Forgive me, we must seek the resistance group which receives the crystal rod daily. Alice, will you come with me? Yes, of course, I should like to hear what they have to say for themselves firsthand. May you ever walk in the light of the crystal. Alpha now, Alpha. Are you still listening? Good, I have tidings. The temple and I have raided a smuggler's warehouse an hour ago. The curse of the prisoner were in employ. I hope you're sitting down. A man in black robes. And you have them? And the crystal too? We've with few remained. Agreeably, it was seen that they dispatched one final shipment in the hours before we struck. It was bound for Little Amigo, we are told, where it will be received by members of the local resistance group. The Emmerich men no longer have need of my services. I have I have mine to head that way. As do we. By happy coincidence, we've learned of the shipments but a few moments ago. So I was thinking I might be able to one step ahead of the War of Light and its helpers. Wait a moment. There is more. I I, didn't, I defy you not be surprised. The leader of the Ashkarna smugglers was formerly employed one of Elena's Romani and infamous Ivy herself. Once again, thank you. I, I, I fear I must inform you that. Thank you. With whom else have you shared this information? About the smugglers? No one. As as I think I mentioned, there was less brave in our. I plan on contacting Yishtola. But there is someone else you have to notify first. No, there isn't. <laughs> I know what she's doing. She's not letting she's not letting Ariane J know. Mard. Has gone into Twice now we saw the Orange and twice she's treated him as a U.S. stranger. The Archons are one of the grandfather's most dedicated pupils. Spent as much time as love your estate as we did. He practically a member of the family. Truth be told, I struggled to recall a day from childhood when he did not see three of, of them laughing together. If this continues, I may have to raise a matter. Let her know, little Amigo wait. Thank you. I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh, forgive me, I was a long day. Did you have something to say? Ranji, oh, I always thought to struggle. I always thought, I always struggle to understand what is going on in his head. Now more than ever. If anything should happen, it should be, it should be me who just knows that I'm prepared to do what must be done. Right then. The more pressing matter. Since we got no idea what Dane could my right, I suggest we get information. We were formally informed that the members of the Alamigo resistance operating here they can receive to large shipments of crystal or tasked by certain who and what. Given the size of the settlement, I find it hard to believe that anyone here and wholly unaware of the resistance movement, the challenge, of course, will be finding an individual who will be able to willing to share the information. It would be seem sensible to divide our force. I want you to question the residents of the eastern half of the town. At least, in, uh, LSA and I will do the same in the west. Hey, no need to deny, friend. Here, we're here to let a fire on me, inspired by more than a few pledge. A little wonders. <laughs> I see. Went on a little question. Looking for good man, I bet. You know the little talking me go for Folks would come and he got in story with Gullions. It was under the mask, of course. Some say he's hardly got a face. With all the scars, others reckon he is marked for death for the Empire. And it's said by the bloody legion that they were here. The guess as good as mine. If you said sort of stick up and good for you, but I'm too old to mask behind a story. Yeah. 
him, but they're not so eager to help him. That's fine. What's that shit? Asthma. The Griffin seems to have a leadership formerly fashion with the nervous system. The mass, yes, despite growing popularity, no one seems to know much about the there was a great medicine group of joined the movement in recent months. Indeed, there are many claims that their committee is a cause for liberation and undiva. We can but hope the revolution of fever is here. Though I feel confident that this is a group which is reserved for the crystal shipments we lack yet proof before taking any action. I will hope speak with the settlement leaders. Even as you and Gus are, are acquainted, Perhaps it will be best. Please, me more wrong. The people speak of him. The Griffin sounds like a man in the middle of years, middle his middle years. But it, just what he had been in the past two decades, that he is devoted to his cause. Why hasn't he waited until now to do something? But unless, of course, he hasn't. Please see again. I cannot help but wonder if I should be worried. I hear yours have been asking questions. Griffin, I, I know of him. As we all, he and his mass have, have become infected within the resistance. Though his suspicions at first, but he, gives secret, he proves himself to the camera capable commander. Men are drawn to his passion and vision. They truly believe that he has what it takes to lead them to victory. Even if I cannot help but admire the man for his company, but I have not forgotten Wilfred. I was blind to the danger of his ambition, and you were not. The Griffins will soon arrive to deliver speech to the people of Akintebra of Kona. Go and see him with your own eyes. How convenient. Tis a pity Dane is not here to join us. You two, go ahead. I shall stay behind and wait for him. Whatever you should be keeping him if it takes a specific route, leaving us to do all the hard work. I shall treat him with, to a piece of my mind. As it begun, I hear voices coming from within. Brothers and sisters, 20 years ago, Alamigo, our home, was claimed by the Galian Empire. In our haste to overthrow the King of Ruin, we turned a blind eye to our foes in the north. With our glorious revolution, we but laid a path for a new tyrant to succeed the old. And when confronted with our failure, we fled. Not a day goes by that I do not think of those we left behind. Think of them and feel ashamed. And I know each and every one of you feels the same. We abandoned them, our own flesh and blood, to labor till their backs gave in and their breath gave out, building the twisted steel ramparts which now mar our once majestic mountains. We abandoned them, the brave and true, to fight and die for their country, or worse, to be conscripted and sent off to rob another poor bastard of his home. We abandoned them, the meek and powerless, <coughs> to bow and scrape when the Galleons pass, to sully themselves that they might live to see another day of misery. 
The Black Wolf may be dead, but a new Imperial Viceroy reigns in Alamigo now. A beast, not a fraction as merciful. You all know the Eorzean Alliance will do not to oppose him. For all their promises and platitudes, they will not act if there's no profit in it. Only we can free our brothers and sisters from the Empire's tyranny, my friends. Only we have the courage to stand and fight! Yeah. Alberta? They have imprisoned us. They have enslaved us. And they have murdered us. But no more! Blood demands blood, and the Garleans shall pay for every drop they have spilt upon our lands. This I promise you, for we have a power within us, my friends. A power befitting our pride, our righteousness. Only join us, and we shall grant you the means to unleash it, and together we shall see the Alamegan standard raised over the mountains of Gear Arbania once more! A power befitting their pride. Not at all ominous, that. Wait, is that... What are you two doing here? Yo, Yida. I could ask you the same thing. Well, well, this is quite the surprise. If you see what I see, if you feel as I feel... Might I suggest we continue this conversation in more agreeable surroundings? For it is not strength of arms that will win this battle, but strength of heart. Yeah, Papalimo got a voice change. I have to imagine it seemed rather more rugged when we last spoke. I missed those dies. Of all places, it has to be fate. Which can I express how glad to see you both alive and well. And see you, I thought it was pretty obvious you and Crystal Breeze never had a realistic chance of capturing any of the scions, the vibe that we were and distrusted by the if you truly believe that, forgive me. What exactly have you been to? Uh, repaying a favor. After the banquet, we had no choice but to flee Uda, and we had no, we have not have been able to do so without the aid of some old friends from the resistance. That's right. They smuggled us out of the city and sheltered us in Little Amigo. I'll, I'll, I'll at a great risk. Of this, uh, Obviously, we cannot let them go on our knowledge, so we offer to help them out with the operation for a while. We learned the science explanation that Lorito has severed all ties with the Crystal Braves and that General Rumpa has been reinstated. We resolved to make contact, but having long since discarded our link pearls as a precautionary measure, our options were rather limited. To make matters more complicated, we have embroiled in a delicate operation at the time leaving me with little choice but to entrust a letter to a courier. I gather for your puzzled expression, however, yet you never received it. 
be honest, we thought this might happen, but the mass are happy to let the refugees spread the word within our community. They're pretty strict about communicating with outsiders. Oh, we also heard a rumor that the Griffin doesn't want us meddling in his affairs. The Griffin mistrusts the science of the Seven Dawn? Curious, if it is well known that we're not we're not friends of Garlemen, one would think the man w was beseeching all as sundry to join us cause... I should say that the man you saw was not defensive but an impersonator. And the talented rebel, Roser, the boot. Was not surprised me if he is responsible for the majority of the public appearances. As you may have gathered, the Griffin is extremely cautious and distrustworthy man who has made every effort to conceal his identity. Even when we participated in the raid under his document, we were not permitted to approach him. It's hard to know what to make of it. The secrecy, the impersonators, the masks. What? It's not like I all wear one. Mine's the only to cover half my face. I'm completely different. Anyway, we all heard that the Griffin was due to give a speech. We thought it might be a good opportunity to get a better sense of the man behind the, uh, the better sense of the man. Raw, that bad. And now I think you've heard it all. But tell me, what prompted you to take an interest in the Griffin? So many. No, seriously, I can't, I can't believe it. Resistance would never ever entertain this as a ridiculous plan. But the Griffin, or well, the man is an enigma, I cannot say with any confidence what he would do. What can I say? I'm however that the speech heard today was not the first of the make of a powerful cable of the Venian Empire. The mass have made many such claims of fate. I said I confess I am assumed that it will be mere blusters. But in the context of shipment, which you spoke, it's not impossible that there are alluding a, a primal. Whatever it may be, we cannot find. <coughs> we find anyone can try it. Don't answer to me. Indeed, that is assuming you have us. And welcome back, homies. The Tales of Sunspike, we have all believed that they expected the Alamigo after a sale. The Taru was in d delighted to hear that we have re been reunited once we have attended Menace, of course. You honestly think we would be planning to deliver Alamigo with the help of a Primal? I mean... How can you be really that stupid? As you expect, the Griffin is indeed a plotting as a summary primal. We must need obtain the com that I propose. We question his double. Given his role as the group's actor, I should not be surprised if he was given one of the Griffin's closest associates. While he, we may not be aware of his most sensitive either, we can pray to us how deep his master plan and boss, like the man who we are personally. However, he is very outsider. Do not expose himself without his follows. You and Alfina will pose as adventurers fallen on the hard time. Inspired by his words to take up Aminoha, you and I, members of the resistance, will recount the tales of your past achievements, testify that as to your usefulness in the struggle ahead. With other assurance still ringing in the ear, he will decide to welcome you in person. If you need to look at the part, we might maintain a Sarat. Until then, we have we have him cornered. There should be enough to purchase suitable garments from Tailpot to him. Enough? Oh, Alright. As a summon of which he sells to a refugee. The sum of the sack should be more suitable if but if my name is
Our identities will be revealed, but it can't be up. We don't have time for a clever approach. I mean, you're the one with the uh, You don't have the sand field, don't you? The one who got seen at your friends of Papa Limo. There is a tunic to stop both of you, you told. You to your taste. No. Man, I should stay right there. I will go train. See you at the. My thanks, comrades. You must be the esteemed adventurers of whom I've heard so much. I understand you have taken an interest in our cause. A great interest, you might say. Your words have certainly made quite an impression on my friend and I. The Resistance has long, and some would say wisely, avoided open engagements with the Garleans, but you and yours seem confident against the world in arms. I can only assume you have good reason to be so bold. Why, one might even think you were planning to summon a primal because that would do much to explain the sizable shipment of crystals you recently received from your smuggler friends, whom our Ishgardian allies have since detained, lest you wonder. I'd like to hear more about the Griffin. The real Griffin. Your performance earlier didn't fool us. Ah, the famous scions of the Seventh Dawn. I should have known better than to think I could conceal the truth from you lot. You are right. I am not the Griffin, but I speak with his voice, and it was at his BS that we procured those crystals. You are wrong, however, if you think that we procured them to summon a primal. We used them to reach an accord with the Amalja. In exchange for crystals to summon their god, they will aid us in the fight for Alamegan liberation. You've got to be joking. Have you gone completely mad? When people find out you helped the Lizardmen summon Ifrit, they'll turn on the resistance. Alamigo will never be free. This isn't a fairy tale, girl. We don't have the luxury to play at being honorable heroes. It's because the likes of you wouldn't sully your saintly hands that Alamigo's been under the yoke for the past 20 years. But the Griffin won't stand for it, and neither will we. We're ready to do whatever it takes. What proof do you have of this arrangement with the Amalja? What? Well, aside from a lack of crystals, none. But the beastmen have a great big pile of the things if you fancy looking. You might want to hurry, though. It'll not be long before they summon their god. Search our camp if you don't believe me. We have naught to hide. If there is a cache to be found, Eder and I will find it. Then let us be off. Are you perchance the Warrior of Light? Aye. I thought so.
You should know that a great many who have joined us did so because you saved them. Because you showed them that one brave man can make a difference. You saved me too once. Helped a friend over in Quarry Mill make some medicine I needed. But that was a lifetime ago. On behalf of my brothers and sisters, I thank you. You gave us hope where there was none, courage and strength when all was lost. We shall not squander your gift. I think I remember that mission. I know that look, Ida, and I do not like it. You cannot seriously be contemplating taking up arms with that band of cutthroats. I... I just... If the Griffin and his men have their way, it is only a matter of time before the situation in Alamigo comes to a head. Your homeland's future teeters on a knife edge, and any reckless action, however small, could have irrevocable consequences. You mustn't lose sight of that, Ida. When the time comes, we must all make our choices, but we must do so in full possession of the facts. Now, let us away. There is work to be done. Remember? Excuse me, but I can't expect to recall every name and face. Besides, it was. No matter how you lived in the present, how you focus on the problems. Let us keep moving forward. Together, we must find and secure. We take the griffin, double his words, and then the crystals are now. Somewhere in the to put up use. We must appraise at least say, of all we must have learned. I will join you in. My apologies. The picture will never be my strong You are prepared for battle yet. Now that Dinkle has finally arrived, mayhaps you can share your latest findings. Can you tell me that while you were moving, Gita and Papini were here all along? Well, Yoshi was relieved, but also angry, mainly angry, I should think. As for the crystals, what choice do we have? We cannot eat, very well leave them in the hands of Alpha. For all we know, they could be preparing to summon Alpha even as we speak. We must make Zarha without glance. There is not else to discuss, that's the part of once. So they go for it in accordance with the Griffin's plan. Players gather to assume their marks on stage in flames. Their long half shabby the drama of which I am authorized to go fresh. Not to else remain. Save to stand at the ready and pray that the chance is seized. For never shall we never know it. You can more obvious sign is a foot if anything. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? If it is possible, we... I confess. But we must not... We must not jump to conclusion until... Until we have braved the bolts of Amber. We must engage the enemy. If you were to make any...
This isn't right. The Amalgia would never leave this place so poorly guarded. Not willingly, no. <laughs> ah, the saviors of Eorzea. Slow as ever. By the Twelve, will you never learn? You know, you're right. Mayhap it is time for a change of tack. Killing primals, tormenting beastmen, hastening the birth of a new god. It's all a bit much, isn't it? And frankly, we don't have the leisure to do it. But killing the warrior of light, on the other hand, that would soon plunge Eorzea into chaos. One life for one world. A fair exchange! Wouldn't you agree? Lest you forget, you've more than one opponent. Carbuncles! Defend me! I sense you will offer more than mere target practice. Unlike your sister. Alize! You take that hell. Did... Did I not tell you, Alphano? I am not the girl I once was. My brother was always the clever one while my talents lay elsewhere. If you would dare to stand against us, to destroy all that we hold dear, then you shall die by my sword! Let's finish this. Alright, let's do it together.
Earth is gone. Now. What? The chains! God, you snake! You would betray us as well? He that holdeth fast unto his convictions shall never count betrayal amongst his crimes, though all the world may call him villain. My path is unchanged, my creed sacrosanct. This I believe with all my heart. But say, warrior of darkness, and speak true, what dost thou believe? That rendering up the souls of thy world in service to the rejoining will grant it salvation? Nay. By the Twelve! Oriange! Mine apologies, Master Alfino. That the brightest light might shine, duty did compel me to walk in darkest shade. You sweet fool. I was almost willing to believe you had turned against us. I expect a full explanation when this is over. For now, may I assume you have turned your cloak for the last time? Thou mayest, my lady. By thy leave. Even odds, then. No matter. We'll crush the lot of you in one fell swoop! Understood. Hearken to me. We only have one chance. Channel your ether into my blade that I might strike before the mage casts his spell. I cannot do it alone, but together, together we can defeat them!
You shouldn't tell me I didn't... Bro, you could've... 
Yeah, I kind of wish the blade part was I see more visible. You literally didn't tell me. Alize, are you hurt? A touch dizzy, but otherwise fine. Thank you. And there you have it. Our friend is too stubborn to die. <sighs> we are far from finished. Have you never considered how we came to this world? Crystals? You mean... like the Assians? Just so. As the Assians flee under the rift twixt plains with crystals of darkness, so did these warriors come hither with crystals of light. Eloquent, as always. I, like the Assians, we too are beyond death. You cannot defeat that which is eternal. <laughs> Wait! Such methods as the Assians employ require the renunciation of the flesh. You... you would have had to... At long last, you see. To save our world, we gave our lives. We were just adventurers trying to make our way. And our job here, a favor there, we never aspired to be warriors of light. But word of our deeds spread, and soon people were calling us heroes. They placed their hopes and dreams on our shoulders, and bid us fight for all that was good and right. We fought, and we fought, and we fought until there was no one left to fight. We won! And now our world is being erased from existence. We did everything right! Everything that was asked of us, and still, still it came to this! You of all people should understand. We cannot, we will not falter. We brought our world to the brink of destruction, and now we must save it. <clears throat> I've died before, Arbut. I'm not afraid to die again. No matter how many times we fall, we must rise and carry on the fight for those we left behind.
to have known the depth of sorrow and embraced the highest sacrifice. Nonetheless, Master Louis Soi, guide my hand, I pray you, as fate's thread spinneth upon this most capricious spindle. Quickly! Thou must needs invoke the power of thy crystal! What is this place? Oh, is this your first time? <laughs> Such pain. Such sorrow. Oh, my dear children. It can't be. Mother Heidelin, hearken unto your children's plea. From two worlds do we gather, and from two worlds do we offer a bounty of light. In this desperate hour we do beseech your intercession. We beg an audience with the word of the mother, with your chosen Minfilia. Your cries go not unheard nor your sacrifices unnoticed. Though many are lost, there are those we can yet save, who I can yet save. Minfilia! Blessed children of the first, the light of your world hath grown blinding in its radiance, but it is not yet absolute. I will hie me to your world and there take unto myself the light which riseth even now to drown it, as darkness once did drown another. Now you deign to answer our prayers? I will suffer this farce no longer! As the Asians must serve as instruments of Zodiac's will, so too <laughs> must others carry out the will of Hydaelyn. But for the yeah. boon you have granted her, she has grown strong enough to set me free, that I might serve as her emissary. <laughs> your suffering, your sacrifice, your supplications, she has heard all. We will not let the first fall to light. Thank you, Urianger, for bringing everyone here. It fills my heart with joy to look upon the faces of my friends once more. In taking you unto her bosom, I knew that Heidelin had bequeathed to you a sliver of her grace, granting you strength long sought. And in treating with the Asians, I learnt of a star like unto our own, a doomed world of fallen heroes, 
in whom I glimpsed ourselves, the first. For long did I search for a means to save this world, concluding at the last that the answer lay in the power of blessed crystals. And thus did I labor to set light against dark. Yet I knew from the beginning that this salvation would not come without sacrifice. For the instrument of the first's deliverance would of necessity be required to journey thither, there to remain, mayhap forever. You orchestrated all of this, not to save her, but to send her away. One life for one world. Such was the bargain, and you the coin, though it were not mine to spend. Have we not walked together in the light of the crystal, and at her bidding borne witness to the joys and sorrows of this land? Each and every one of you knows my heart. If this be the price I must pay, I pay it gladly. You would go alone then? My dearest Thancred, you who have ever watched over me, I am truly grateful for all you have done on my behalf, as would my father be. Your kindness, your compassion, your love. These are your gifts to me and our gifts to them, forming a bond which transcends time and space. <laughs> Sometimes I forget you are not the child I once knew. I also forget I had me. Long have I watched you from Hydaelyn's side. Watched as you nurtured and kept safe the light of the dawn. The dark recesses of the world hide untold secrets and dangers. Thus do I trust to you, Tupsimati. I pray you, keep to the path that you may never have need of it. is all but spent. Perhaps, if there is naught else to be done. By my mouth that one entire time. Hear me, servants of Hydaelyn. If you would have us place our trust in you, then I would ask a favor. Take us with you. Take us home. We were blind to truth once, so I tell you this, as one fool to another. The dark, it doesn't matter. What matters is how you choose to use them. We made our choice and you see what came of it, so please, forge a different path. Seize a better fate.
is a strange feeling. So many times have I watched you depart, my heart filled with worry. And ever did you return to me in triumph. Someday, when I have found a way to free this star from her sorrow, I promise you I shall repay the favor. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I need to say, you believe that she forgive me. I shall not. I should have spoken by the time I played. Seems that we are in a southern town again. Things no doubt made the twelve spend away. Papa wonder what awaits those who were stores, but if And this is what we were. Didn't be. I will go back to secure them. The magia are still scratching the warrior's darkness. They will not notice a long bar of smoke. Thank you. Don't have. Don't have to do this. I know, but I want to. I want to see you at the rising stone. Fine. I believe they have finally started the mess. I asked a question, where did that become aware of my independent perspective? When I saw you meeting with the word darkness and acids in the wise great library, I was I tried not to think of the words, but you've never seen one to combine in others, so I knew there was a true tension period. Well you would not share your plan with us when you felt the time was right. But I can't deny that the part of me feared you have simply betrayed us. You know that there has been another way, uh, no I could take no pleasure in deceiving thee that take their sins will forever w I understand why you did that, what you did. That you be sought to achieve greater good while inflicting the least harm. Not many would have the courage to take that choice. But even knowing what you can, I, sh I find that I cannot condone them, I'm sorry. But I believe the events that they have taken a toll on me, I shall be. If thou grant my leave, I will at least escort you to the refuge of time. Of course, of once my lady have regained her strength, we shall
And there you are, finish with it, in case you're wondering. Oh man, are you there? Half an hour, you know, was seen my griffin double was telling the truth. We found nothing resembling the size of a catch of Christmas. Did you find a person? Actually. I don't believe it. The crystal, I mean, feel all of it. It's just, I don't know what it is. This, I sympathize. Even now, I'm struggling to comprehend what I saw. The only thing I can say is we're certain that I feel blessed to have been finally a chance to speak with her. It was bittersweet, but also affirming. Often, I believe it's that it's past time Ian and I rejoined us out. We have been away for too long. Though I have low to leave Griffin into his own device, I feel our investigation would benefit more for this special perspective. And I hope that we might in turn offer our own opinions on the many challenges you have faced in your absence. Uh, it's like an abs an absolute agent, hasn't it? I can't wait to hear about everyone's adventure. We should be great I'm glad to recount, and Tataru's tales may well surprise you. Yeah, Raga, we praise it is you. Yeah, alive and still standing in the flesh. I can hardly believe my eyes. I are. Uh, oh come on, haven't you been along though you remember me? It's Gunbold. I fought beside your father in the revolution. Don't you think less of your friends? But it's been twenty years since our occupation set us separate ways. But the resistance were always welcome to little amigo. They gave us up Yanita most of all. Yida has always a full of fire. Even the first to volunteer for a mission until the end is up vanished. There were rumors that we feared the worst, but here you are, alive and well, looking nary at the old. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I'm running off like that, making you all worry. It's a long story. I got involved in my friends as a science star, but we are still in a circle of knowing back then. Anyway, I wanted to come back and tell you, but it was very secretive stuff at the time. And you know, we got a lot to talk about, and well, but right now I've got to hurry back to our headquarters. My friends are expecting me. Hey, forgive me, but it's been a long day for us. I promise we will visit again at the first time. Let's return to Bryce Stone. Hell, take me. Oh, we're giving you the mask. I trust your journey is eventful. You will be pleased and think it has secured the crystal and see it words a while ago. Uh, he will rejoin us. That was all. While waiting for it, I approved it because I still have a briefing on her. I shall record that day in the return ride, so it now allows the future. Eggs all here. Back in the solar. It's been too long since we were all together like this. Not since. Not since after Minbreda. Much has changed since then. We ourselves, most of all. <laughs> yeah, I hear voices. <laughs> Though not all who were lost could be gathered here today, we may take comfort in the knowledge that those who are not are carrying on the fight. While I am grateful to our friends in the North for their hospitality, it is isn't half good to be back. But, as Papalima rightly said, much has changed since we last stood here. The Scions of the Seventh Dawn are not as they once were, nor should we be. Our travels in the North brought us into contact with a host of fine and generous people. And their selfless deeds serve to show me that it is not lofty causes that should inform our actions, but our hearts. 
and I hope that the Scions might continue in this manner, as individuals driven by individual principles. Provided we all sincerely desire to work towards Eorzea's salvation, I believe the paths we follow to achieve it need not, and should not, be dictated by any single ideal. Companion bound by a common purpose, free to go whither they will. The idea is not without merit. Very well. I shall resume my research of the primals and the elder gods of Eorzea. Should anyone have need of my findings, you need only ask. I should be glad of your continued assistance. Well, my main purpose in coming here was to see the signs of the seventh dawn restored and my dear friend found. Nevertheless, having involved myself in your struggles, I feel compelled to see them through to the bitter end. For Minfilia's sake. That is, if there are no objections. Of the science. You will always be welcome here, Kryl. Uriangere, can we trust you to carry on your investigation of the Asians as before? Regardless of mine own desires, I am undeserving of your trust having so villainously deceived you all. Now, now, I'll hear no more of that. It would be disrespectful of Minfilia's wishes. She entrusted matters here to us, that we might protect this star and understand the truth which hides at her heart. Mayhap I can handle the former, but I think you far better suited to the latter. No? Very well. Then out of love for my Lady Minfilia and Moonbreeder both, this shall be my solemn charge. I... Papalimo and I should probably return to Thandalan to keep an eye on the Resistance. There's still the matter of the Griffin and the Amalja, not to mention the new Imperial Viceroy. That little lot must be worthy of our attention, right? And what will you do, Alizé? You know I have no great love for organizations and formalities. <laughs> that being said, this new approach you propose is not wholly objectionable. And we've always got him to keep us from bickering. I'm, I'm the referee. But I will suffer no titles. I am not here for House Leveille, nor to walk in Grandfather's shadow. Upon that point, we see eye to eye. If it please you, you may think of me as but another comrade in arms. Well then, Alfie, I for my part shall see to the paperwork and the finances with my characteristic aplomb. I would not have it any other way, Taru. And we mustn't forget you. What now for the warrior of light? We thought I a party. <laughs> Indeed. The path behind us was fraught with hardship, <laughs> and the path before us will be no less unforgiving. But a new dawn shall break over realm, and I see before me the faces of those who will defend.
As we shall come, can we ever? The science has some deprived, such as I cannot feel any different. Well, I should not be surprised with everyone standing in a circle delivering grand creatures. She naturally felt obliged to make one of them. It's the American assurance of the Temple Knights, and hence we keep a close hand. As we extend the deepest apology, we have a cut. Courteous fellow, isn't he? You've never. The source of aberration and a sense of the tender reflection of a number thou must is as believed towards a whole opening in my eyes. It came to me imagining no way would they ever mistake where my heart temple of true but the devoted F and Master Lucia teach. For that I love the bear. I'll make sure I'll be introduced to everyone. Official gods, I hope I don't regret this. Look at them. That's seven Donna. This is how far we've come. The people we met, the moment we shared, the losses we've suffered, the tragedy we've overcome, all of us made who we are today. Where we go here, the future holds only the twelve now. Things all here. One world's heroes are another world's villains. One world's loss, another world's gain. Where men go as one, there is life. And where there is life, My friends, if I may, I would ask that you entrust Tupsimati to me. Clouds gather upon the horizon, and as Master Louisois' disciple, I would keep it close at hand. Thank you. I shall guard it well. There is cause to hope. For every ending, every parting, marks a new beginning. To join the uh, coming, shall we do I intend to start with you all uh, on the board. True believers are so readily led. I have given them everything they desire, all of which have been prayed. I doubt you can say the same for your pawn. Get, get what you wanted then? Was it all worth it in the end? There were some unexpected development, but there was ultimately to our advantage. 
be assured that the, the, the suffered light and dark, the world beneath the equilibrium is but a void in, in waiting, and the void is no use for my master. I shall follow her embassy with great interest. The pawns who must be, they will deliver upon me the gift, which I do now. Oh, come on, it hogs eyes. As a Nidhogg, many were the candidates considered but by these. And the uh, bottomless despair, in whom rest beats a heart of the best of it. Only you are to wield, to wield this eyes. Nero. <laughs> Let's do it. You and I are going to have so much fun. 